Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Lisa. I am the creator and founder of This Pilgrim Life and I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you are not new here, then thanks for coming back. So I have just a really quick and easy recipe video for you today. I'm going to show you how to make pie dough from scratch and I'm going to use a food processor, but I'll tell you if you don't have a food processor, how you can just mix it together in a bowl. So I have been using this pie dough for years. It's the only way that I make pie dough now. I use this recipe for both sweet pies like apple pie, pecan pie, things like that, and also for savory pies like chicken pie, chicken, chicken pot pie, which is what I'm going to be using this pie dough for right now. Last night I used my recipe. You can find it on the blog. I'll link it down below for a double batch of chicken pot pie filling and it's going to go in the freezer. My family's going to have one tonight and we're going to put one in the freezer. Um, and it's just a really, it's one of my favorite freezer recipes. And so I will give you a peek at that and give you, um, tell you a little bit about it. But like I said, you can find the recipe, um, linked down below, but what I'm going to take you through right now is how to make homemade pie dough. So let me just go ahead and get this started and show you how to make pie dough from scratch. So one of the reasons that I like to make food from scratch and one of the things that I love about this recipe is just a really short and simple ingredient list. So I have just some um, all-purpose flour here. Now you can use just regular all-purpose flour. I like to get unbleached flour and usually what I'll do is I'll just get Whole Foods brand. I've also made this with fresh ground flour that works as well. Um, and then as far as fats go, I like to use two thirds butter and I just use unsalted butter and then organic coconut oil. And obviously I get this from Costco. I use uh, this in our pie dough like right now and I use it in, in biscuits and um, muffins and cakes and lots of different things. So, so flour, coconut oil, butter. Um, the sugar is optional. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of sugar. You can add it or leave it out. And then a teaspoon of sea salt. And then the only other ingredient besides that is just a half a cup of cold water. So the first step is just to combine part of the flour and your fats in the food processor. Now I mentioned if you didn't have a food processor, then you can just put everything in a bowl and use something like this, a butter incorporator, to mix everything up. You want the butter and coconut oil to be pretty well incorporated with your flour. And you'll see that in just a minute. The benefit of the food processor is of course just that it does it so quickly and also that your butter is not getting warmed up by your hands touching it. So you want your butter to stay um, kind of cool so that you get that flaky texture of the pie dough. This is just a 14 cup Cuisinart food processor. I love it. It's one of my favorite appliances to recommend and you can find it linked in my Amazon shop down below. In the woods 
So once you've mixed your dough together in the food processor, the next step is just to add a half a cup of cold water and you're just gonna gently press the dough together. And if it looks a little especially wet, you can just add a really light um, coating of flour. Now at this point, it's really important to refrigerate the dough before you try to use it. And that's just gonna help it to set up and I like to divide it in half. This does make enough for a double portion, either like the bottom and the top crust of an apple pie, or in this case, two chicken pot pies. And I'm just gonna use this um, beeswax wrap and I'm gonna divide the dough in half on the wrap and then just wrap them up and put them in the fridge. You want to refrigerate it for at least 45 minutes. Like I said, it's also freezer friendly. So if you're not going to use it within the next couple of days and you do want to put it in the freezer. Okay, so you saw how easy that was to do. It's really quick um, and that's one of the reasons why I haven't bought pie dough from the store in so long because it's so easy to just throw it together. I will um, show you some pictures right here of some of the things that I like to use this pie dough for. All of the recipes are on the blog. Pop tarts, empanadas, chicken pot pie, of course, apple pie, um, all the pies. Uh, so you can find links to all those down below. So definitely check out, give this recipe a try. And I'm going to show you now my chicken pot pie that I mentioned that I made last night. And I'll show you pictures. You can see a little bit of the process. Really, basically, you just combine everything in the Instant Pot, let it cook for five minutes on high pressure, and then you want to quick release the pressure. And one of the neat things about this recipe and one of the reasons that I really love making the filling in the Instant Pot, in the past when I used to make this chicken pot pie, it would take at least three to four pans of like cooking the bacon, preparing the eggs, cooking the carrots, um, chicken, all of those things I had to do separately. And now I just do them all together in the Instant Pot. And I even cook the hard boiled eggs. I put hard boiled eggs in my chicken pot pie. I even cook the hard boiled eggs at the same time. I have this tall trivet. So this sits above the filling, um, two pot pies worth of filling. And I just put the eggs right on top and it cooks for five minutes on high pressure. So it really makes the process really simple. Let me go ahead and show you the pot pies in the dish. So here are my pot pies and I put them in the fridge last night to chill. So my family is gonna eat one tonight and I'm gonna put the other one in the freezer and it will be a super quick and easy dinner idea that my entire family will gobble up. Now we've also done this where I will make this recipe for two pot pies and I'll just use them both. Like if we have friends over for dinner, it's a really great hospitality meal because you have two um, ready to go pot pies. All right, so my um, pie dough has been in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes. Um, I need to get ahead, go ahead and get it going. So I'm gonna show you how I roll it out and I'm just gonna go ahead and top my chicken pot pies. My oven is beeping because it's preheated and I'm ready to put one in for dinner, put one in the freezer, and that'll be a wrap on this video. I once felt I'm done with the defense, throw back and climb over your fence, hide Show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders and closed off That's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high Stop us. 
us sunsets remember the colors they were wrong it was way more than a dream we climbed up the yeah, over the hillside so right we stood there all wide eyed you and i floating on air in my mind there's no going back no going back there's no going back to your own life living in the past we're over that i'm feeling it tonight riding on the dizzying heights that's it i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up click subscribe if you haven't already in the comments i'd love to hear from you guys let me know what your favorite kind of pie is what you would use homemade pie dough um, to make also don't forget to check down below for all of the links that are included in this video I included the recipe for the pie dough as well as some other pies, the chicken pot pie, and also a link to check out the beeswax wrap that I used. If you've never used it, it's one of my favorite things to recommend. I actually just recommended it in my Instagram stories earlier this week. So hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys later. Just a feeling of a distant melody unknown I was doing fine I minded my own business Till the day you took 